Children are born wired for learning, but they have to have those learning opportunities in order to maximize their development. The first 1,825 days of a child's life are incredibly important for the development of brain architecture. The early experiences that young children have set a pathway for the rest of their life. Here, our Nina Zucker Center for Excellence in Early Childhood Studies is unique in that we have partnerships and collaborations with a variety of people from a number of different disciplines who are all interested in studying this area of early childhood. We're setting the foundation for lifelong learning, for lifelong productivity, for lifelong ability to interact with people and get along with others in the world and become an integrated member of society. UF is involved in looking at every point along the trajectory of an individual's life from birth until death. As you age, everybody's brain changes, but there are certain pathological changes that occur as well from the time you were in the womb to your early training in education and nutrition during that period of time to what happens during midlife in terms of the exercise level and how much enriched environment you have and how many social interactions you have. All of those things seem to make a difference in terms of your risk for developing a dementing disorder later in life, of which Alzheimer's is the biggest one. Our goal is to help to change the current understanding of these diseases as inevitable, incurable, and untreatable to preventable and treatable and someday hopefully even completely curable. One of the unique things in terms of our center is that we have expertise in many, many different neurodegenerative disorders among the faculty and we all work very, very well together. We've made great, great strides in understanding the basis of these diseases and that provides the real hope. I come to work every day and feel joy about what we've done, what we're doing, and where we're going.